still on the cold Minnesota shop tour. I can't even say the word anymore. Here we are at Mother Originals Quilt Shop. And I've been inside, I've met Mary, she's awesome. I want you to meet her too, this is great. Come on in guys. Well, hello from inside of Mother Originals Quilt Shop. Sneaking around the corner is the owner. There's Mary. <laughs> Hello there. Thanks for having me in your warm quilt shop. Yes. Thank you for coming, stopping by. Please tell me where I'm at in the lovely and chilly state of Minnesota today. We are central Minnesota. Um, we're just south of Pequot Lakes, um, about a mile and a half south of town. So Fantastic. How long has your shop been here? Uh, we've been here, it'll be uh, 12 years in end of May. So, wow. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah. You want to show me around a little bit? Sure. Okay, I will follow you. Um, so we're known quite well for our Northwoods section. So we got a lot of up north prints. Um, so you can see samples hanging on the wall. Um, lots of different fabrics there. We carry, a, like you say, a lot of Northwoods, um, a lot of different prints and styles. Um, we got, if you can move in, we can sure, see. Love to. Lots of, we got wow, lots of trees. Wow, what a selection. And leaves and ooh, landscape. Ooh. Wait, wait, and there's leaves. a quick Rob Appel landscape quilt lesson. And this is an ex perfect example. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but bolts and bolts and bolts of tree bark specifically. One of the things I love to do in my landscape quilts is I choose many different prints. And if I can find the same print in multiple colorways, I will get at least a half a yard of each so that I can layer the darker trees and then the lighter trees and the medium trees, you know, so I get better perspective that way. You can do it with a piece of fabric, but you can do it so much better with multiple pieces of fabric. And just like in the forest, the real nature out there, there's going to be a huge variety of trees. So when you're picking out your landscape fabrics, lots and lots and lots of variety. When you find something you love, buy it in as many different colorways as you possibly can. So you can layer those pieces on top of each other for additional shading. Okay, back to Mary and her quilt shop. Well, that was great. Is there anything you'd like great. to add? Um, so we are obviously central Minnesota, so we have loons. Um, so we carry pretty much every loon fabric that they make or put out here. Um, that's what people expect when they come in the store. Got it. Because of, we live in the beautiful lake country, so in the Brainerd Lakes area. So that's one reason our um, Northwood section does so well. Sure. Because that's what they expect when they come up here. Of course. And while you've done so, amazing with your selection, I can see why they come here for it. <laughs> this is you. great. Okay, what thank else you. do you carry? Um, so we got a selection of batiks. Beautiful. Yep, those are always fun. Um, we have a lot of batik lovers, so. Right. Well, there's so many things you can do with batik as well. Yeah, yeah it's just the texture and the color. And um, so those are, and um, that's a variety. We try and do a little bit um, in a lot of different areas to appeal to a lot of different people. So we're not a quilt shop that carries just a certain kind. Um, so you'll see, like, you know, like you say, the Northwoods, we've got batiks, we've got florals. Right. Um, so we dabble in a lot of different things. Yeah, it's a great variety. So, Wonderful colors and textures and stuff. Yep. So we got a great, you know, color wall. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to tidy up while I'm filming? I am. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to yes. tidy up. Yes. This is a surprise uh, attack. Yes, it yes. was a surprise, obviously. <laughs> obviously. Uh, yeah. And we got some of the reproductions. Right. Um, so, uh, my mom, that's always her little section. She loves reproduction quilts. We have um, probably one of the largest collections of antique quilts in Minnesota. Huge, huge collection. And she's done a lot of research and stuff. So she, we always have, have a little bit of um, some of the reproduction stuff because we all like to dabble in that a little bit too. So and so is she technically mother original? She is the original mom. I yes, love it. Yes. I love it. And so is we, she a part owner in the shop too or just a lot of inspiration? Um, How does that work? So um, she's, she had a cool shop. Um, later 80s okay. I would say it was probably when she first started always a quilter though um, so she had that and um, so now she's a little elderly but she <laughs> loves coming in here right. she sews on her treadle machine every day which people love to see um, awesome. of course she sews on the other machines too but her sure. treadle machine she just loves and um, so yeah she started out doing very original quilts 
Right. And so that's where the n name developed I just at that love time. It. And so um, she's always been involved, and um, yeah, she just carries a lot of knowledge, and um, she's just a wonderful person to visit with. And Fantastic. Here at the shop, so it's fun. And she's here. not here today because? Because we have a charity called Quilts for Kids, and every Thursday they sew um, at a different location, and so we make and give away about 300 quilts a year locally um to children in crisis so that's wonderful and she's so over there she, with the kids and she everybody is learning. over there but, yep so in a way with a whole group of ladies and they make it all happen so that's great yep fantastic cool yep. and i also noticed when i was back over here you have like long arms and classroom space and stuff back yeah. here yep. what else is going on here at so, mother originals yep we have a whole kids section love it rich and delicious yeah. nice and over here we have, this is our backing area. So we have, oh, Ooh, know, it goes and goes. A couple, I don't know, probably wow. a couple bolts of extra wide backing. <laughs> we have every color they make in the right. Mickey or cuddle back. Right, the wide backs. You know what I want to do is I want to lay all those bolts on the floor and just like so jump <laughs> into it. Lay, that would be the softest landing. Yeah. Oh, that is wild. And yeah. these are also other great wide backs too, yeah, huh? So those are Okay. Backings. Soon to be uh, the new location of one of the Michael Miller wide backs as well. Yes, yeah, we got her today. We we are gonna sneak one in on Mary. <laughs> yep. Oh, this is great. I love the lighting in here too. It's just wonderful. Thank you. So yeah. this is our section of flannels. So I say like a year right. that we right. like to dabble in a lot of different areas of something. For yeah, everyone. you have a. But I like the way it's kind of feels like genre by genre, you know, like yeah. we're just can kind of wander from one vignette to the next through here. This is great. Right. And then, um, like you said, we got our long arm machines. Um, do you rent them out for people to use or no, do, do you? Not. They, okay. Yep. It's just customers bringing quilts in or shipping them in. We get them from all over the country. So you're machine quilting on other folks' quilts and your shop samples. No <laughs> yeah, or yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, is it okay that I film these? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe no, fine. this is somebody's Christmas present next yeah. year or something like that. No. How fun. Yeah. Wow. There goes Ernie Miller sneaking out after another successful sales <laughs> appointment. And I will brag, Ernie just brought a big box of fabric in for that kid's sewing charity and Yay. dropped it off somewhere over in a corner over there where they're all a lot of this stuff is being piled up for the kids' charity, you were saying. It is. Yep. So we got a really cool. All that stuff there was a huge donation we got in just a couple days ago. Yeah. And so that'll all be brought over to the other location once we um, get it all sorted out. So that's what all that fabric is there. So Great. we're very fortunate. We've Great. got a lot of good, wonderful people involved in the program. And did I ask you already, do you teach classes here as well? Um, we do some, not a lot. We usually bring in outside. Um, oh, teachers, um, just because we can't wear too many hats, because <laughs> um, you know between the long arm and the retail and so on and so on. So, um, but we like to bring in outside people. That's right. So. Okay, I'm gonna embarrass both of us. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You trust me? You shouldn't. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> you shouldn't. Okay. We wear many a hats, and I probably we should put do. mine back on. But this do. is why we should all support our local quilt shops because there are a lot of people out there all over that are independent business owners that do a million things in a day to support their personal business, to support all of you and your communities and your hobbies and your quilting and all of that. So thank you, Mary, for being a local quilt shop oh, owner and letting me come you. in here and harass you, but I'm going to do this you. back now. But <laughs> getting to know other people and our customers, that is the best part of the job. It really I, lo is. I love the relationship. That Makes we it build. worth it. And we never get day. tired of doing it, do we? Never do. Yeah. Hey, yeah. how about a hug? You're yeah. awesome. Thank oh. you. Thank you very much for letting me come and make a movie. Yep. All right, everybody, we will see all of you in a local quilt shop real soon.